Before we begin this video, we want to give a quick shout out and thanks to Marietta for letting us use some of her artwork in our last video to help visualize some of our points. This artwork comes from her fan-made comic book series titled Abundance of Faith, which is set in an alternate timeline where Palpatine marks Darth Vader as a traitor, and it showcases the inner turmoil that spreads within the Empire as a result. It's very well done, and the artwork used for it is gorgeous. Definitely check out this ongoing series, a link to it is in the description below. We want to thank the 7,000 people that voted on our poll a few weeks ago, which asked what everyone's favorite Snoke theory was, in terms of either which they think is the most plausible, which one they want to be true, or which one they simply found to be the funniest. At number 10, with 149 votes, is the Fallen Will theory. In Star Wars, there are semi-celestial beings known as Wills, who are entirely made up of the Force and exist in between the cosmic Force and the physical world. They are sort of like the angels of the Star Wars galaxy, and it's believed Snoke is a fallen Will, a Will who went against his own kind and was banished to the physical realm as punishment. During his reign as Emperor, Palpatine felt Snoke's presence from the far edges of the galaxy, and he believed that the origin of the dark side existed from Snoke's location. Some have suggested that when Snoke was banished into the physical realm, that he brought the dark side with him and was the cause of the imbalance of the Force. Other evidence to suggest Snoke is a fallen Will is the fact that Luke Skywalker apparently has the journal of the Wills with him on the island he self-exiled himself to. It is possible he is trying to learn all he can about these semi-celestial beings so he can discover a way to kill one before going to confront Snoke. Only one person posted a comment on why they think Snoke is a fallen Will, and he thinks it just sounds like an interesting and cool idea to have him be one. At number 9, with 173 votes, is the Anakin Skywalker twin theory. It's accepted that Anakin Skywalker was indirectly created by Palpatine's Sith Master Darth Plagueis when he experimented with the Force to create life. The Force created Anakin as a result in order to bring balance to the galaxy by destroying both the Jedi and the Sith. This theory, however, brings up the idea that the Force created another being just like Anakin, but for another purpose. While Anakin was created to destroy the two main light and dark side orders of the galaxy, this second being was created to ensure neither the Sith nor the Jedi returned and to maintain the balance in the galaxy. Which is why Snoke is so interested in Kylo Ren, who is conflicted by both the light and the dark, and manipulated the young man to destroy Luke's new Jedi Order while also not being a Sith himself despite being a dark side user. Those who commented on this theory suggested they voted for him because they think it'd be cool for him to be connected to Anakin in some way, as well as it sounding like it made the most sense. At number 8, with 207 votes, is the Reborn Palpatine theory. This theory is based off the Legends Dark Empire comic series, which sees the return of Palpatine as he transferred his consciousness through the Force into clone bodies. This theory believes Palpatine did a similar thing in canon and resided in the outer galaxy to regain his strength before making moves to reconquer the galaxy with the First Order, and that just like he did with Anakin Skywalker, the reborn Palpatine wanted to manipulate a powerful Force user to do his bidding, so he chose Kylo Ren, who was a descendant of his former apprentice. Based on your comments, many of you chose this theory because you believe that Palpatine survived the fall at the end of the Return of the Jedi due to his powerful connection to the Force. At number 7, with 316 votes, is the Force Parasite Theory. This theory suggests Snoke is a Force Parasite, or a Force Vampire, who survives by leeching energy off of powerful Force beings. The more powerful the Force Sensitive is, the more Snoke can drain the energy from them and empower himself, which is why he is so interested in both Kylo Ren and Rey, both of whom are deeply connected to the Force. The theory also brings up the idea that Snoke is also seeking a new body to take over, which could also be another reason he is searching for a strong being in the Force. Many who voted for this theory did so because they think he'll be a canon version of Darth Nihilus, a Legends character who survived by draining the life force out of living beings, and also because apparently parasites are ugly, just like Snoke. At number 6, with 398 votes, is the Soar's Bandim theory. 
Sors Bandim was one of the Jedi younglings that Anakin killed during his attack on the Jedi Temple, but the theory suggests that the youngling survived and hid away. Him surviving Anakin's attack gave him the scars that Snoke has, and him surviving the Jedi Purge means he saw the rise and fall of the Empire. That's pretty much all this theory has got to offer. The main reason people voted for him was because Snoke's face looks like it got cut with a lightsaber, implying it was a failed attack on Sors Bandim by Anakin, and also because Anakin let him live because he felt bad for the youngling. At number 5 with 525 votes is the Mace Windu theory. This theory states that Mace Windu survived his fall after his duel with Palpatine, which is made possible seeing how Jedi before have survived far higher heights with no injuries whatsoever. Snoke's deformed appearance is explained by how Mace Windu was hit by Palpatine's force lightning, causing his skin to turn pale and giving him facial scars. Mace Windu is known for being a Jedi that was balanced between the light and dark side of the force, which was symbolized by his purple lightsaber. He was able to use the power of the dark side to some extent during duels without having it corrupt him. However, after being betrayed by Anakin, witnessing the entire Jedi Order get destroyed, and seeing the Sith take over the galaxy, Mace Windu's anger toward everything that had happened caused him to fully fall to the dark side of the Force. Due to his injuries, he went into hiding and witnessed the rise and fall of the Empire. At some point, he regained enough strength and vowed to exact revenge on the Skywalker family due to Anakin betraying him. This theory also points to other smaller theories, such as Finn being Mace Windu's son and Rey being Palpatine's granddaughter, which is why Snoke wants her captured and possibly killed too. On top of that, this theory is supported by both Mace Windu and Finn's actors, Samuel Jackson and John Boyega, respectively. Many of you who voted for the theory said Mace Windu became Snoke after sustaining his injuries from Palpatine, and also because some of you liked the idea of Mace Windu returning back into Star Wars in some form. At number 4, with 636 votes, is the Old Republic Sith Emperor theory. The Sith Emperor in question is Vitiate, who is one of the main antagonists of the Old Republic video game series. He is described as being one of the most powerful Sith to ever live, and is known for his ability to extend his life by transferring his consciousness to other bodies. One of the reasons some point to him being Snoke is that Vitiate built up two entire empires over the course of hundreds of years in the shadows of the galaxy, which is pretty similar to what Snoke had done with the First Order. So perhaps the First Order is his third hidden empire that he built after being defeated long ago. Plus, if Snoke is introduced as an ancient Sith Emperor from the Old Republic era, it could be a great segue for Disney to start reintroducing Old Republic era material and making it canon again with new stories through TV shows and comics. Many of you who voted for this theory did so because Vitiate was able to cheat death, as well as because he was immensely powerful in the dark side of the Force. Also, because some of you want the Old Republic era to be reintroduced in Star Wars canon. At number 3, with 736 votes, is the Jar Jar Binks theory. This theory is based on the idea that Jar Jar Binks is a secret Sith Lord who had manipulated the entire events of the prequel trilogy. Some have speculated that certain movements he did on screen were actually force powers he used to manipulate unsuspecting beings to advance his agenda. Supporters of this theory believe the reason he was never publicly outed as a Sith Lord was due to the massive backlash his character received from Episode 1. And as such, George Lucas disregarded his original idea of Jar Jar Binks being the first Phantom Menace. But now, this original idea of Jar Jar Binks being a Sith, or at the very least, a powerful dark side user, is going to be brought back for the sequel trilogy, and as a result, he's going to be Snoke. Many people like this theory because it brings back everyone's favorite character Jar Jar Binks to the big screen again, and it finally has George Lucas' original plans become a reality. At number 2, with 942 votes, is the Darth Plagueis theory. This theory states that Palpatine's Sith Master, Darth Plagueis, is Snoke after surviving his apprentice's failed assassination on him. Plagueis was known for his research in trying to achieve immortality through the Force, but according to Palpatine, he only discovered how to keep others alive and not himself. However, what if Palpatine was wrong, and Plagueis did in fact learn how to cheat death? So when Palpatine assassinated him in his sleep, 
Plagueis was able to save himself through the Force. That explained why Snoke is so deformed due to having scars of him surviving an assassination attempt. Plus, it also explains why Palpatine felt a dark side force calling to him from the far reaches of the galaxy, as it could be Plagueis was trying to drag Palpatine away from the confines of his empire and into a possible trap in order to exact revenge on his traitorous apprentice. Those who voted for this theory stated that Plagueis must have survived due to him achieving immortality through the Force, and that he was too wise to have been killed by his apprentice in his sleep. And finally, the number one picked option on our poll is that Snoke is an entirely new character who has no connections to any past character we've seen before. 1,484 people voted for this option, and the creators of the new Star Wars trilogy have an entirely different backstory to him that will not make him any old character from past stories. Many of you who voted for this option stated that they think from a production standpoint, it would make the most sense for Snoke to be an entirely new character, and that many of the other theories on who he is can be easily disproved. Let us know if you enjoyed this video and wish to see more like it, with other subjects and categories concerning Star Wars. Feel free to comment below what you want to see in the future, and upvote the comments that you agree with. Also, let us know what you want us to change in our format to these videos, if there's anything we should add or remove. All feedback will be greatly appreciated.